trash can time for the evening. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you knew there would be something in there, didn't you? Let's find out. Snake. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's Liz Taylor's old belt. Thank you. <laughs> ooh, 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 found it. <laughs> it's like an old ham sandwich. Cool, huh? You know, if Mama Cass and Karen Carpenter had shared this, they'd both be alive today. Uh, <laughs> tough crowd. <laughs> Gee, I'm not going to even pull anything else out of the trash can. <laughs> Gee, I wonder if there's anything left. First, I'll tell you my favorite joke in the entire world. This is my favorite joke. Man walks into a bar. All good jokes always start with a man walks into a bar. He never gets hurt. You ever notice that? Just walks into a bar. Man walks into a bar, orders a beer, sits down at the end of the bar, and he's enjoying his beer. He looks down at the other end of the bar, and there is this beautiful, gorgeous, lovely, elegant, well-dressed, poised young woman. Legs perfectly crossed, and she is sipping on a champagne cocktail. He notices she's just about through, and he says, Excuse me, ma'am, could I, could I buy you a beer? She looks at his beer. She looks back at her champagne cocktail, picks it up, and continues to sip. He says, excuse me, ma'am, could I buy you a beer? She says, I don't drink beer. I drink a champagne cocktail. And he said, why? She says, well, I'll tell you. When I drink a champagne cocktail, my spirit is lifted out of my body and it's laid ever so lovingly on a silver cloud with a gold lining. That cloud, ever so gently, lowers me down to a pink sand beach where my nude body is laid to bask in the gold sunlight. Out of the blue, aqua, blue, green water comes Adonis, gorgeous, muscular, nude, water dripping from every rippling muscle in his body. He walks up to me on the beach. He lays on top of me, and he makes love to me. And when I drink a beer, I fart. <laughs> to the and then there was light cafe. <laughs> it is a Catholic restaurant on the east side of North Street. Certainly it's in there. Catholics have a good sense of humor. Please stick with me on this one, okay? <laughs> it's really a wonderful place. It really is. They, they don't have doors. They have a large, you know, like rock that they move back and forth. <laughs> One star that constantly shines on this restaurant. <laughs> the waitresses are nuns, like Sister Mary Immaculata, Sister Mary Concepcion, and they always greet you in those lovely little voices when they say, help yourself to the Eucharist bar, where there's always wonderful things like, you know, all the manna you can eat, all the manna, you know, bread and water, and there's, of course, holy water, there's, you know, anything you could possibly want in the Eucharist chips that you could possibly imagine. Wonderful place. I'm losing you. <laughs> but they have great things at this restaurant. They really do. They have like um, they have some terrific salads, such as St. Christopher salad. But it was taken off the menu. I don't know. Oh. They claim it never existed. <laughs> Go figure. They've got St. Salad of CC. It's one of my favorites. I'm sure it's one of you. <laughs> Hearts of Palm salad. Or is that Psalms? I always get those two names. <laughs> Oh, they always have the Messiah rolls. You have to order them three days in advance. Though. They have terrific entrees like the Lot's Wife stew. It's too salty. You don't get it. One of my favorites, and I'm sure it's one of yours. You 
you can also get this one in the drive-in limbo window. They call it the limbo window because you're not really there a long time. Okay? It's Burger and a Manger. They have Lazarus casserole. Uh, don't get that, it keeps coming up. It, I could never keep that down, it's just horrible. Uh, they have the dinner for 13, but I really don't recommend it. One just gets kind of mad and, and accuses other people of things you don't even want. It. I mean, we all have our crosses to bear, but come on. <laughs> Desserts are good. They have the red sea velvet cake. <laughs> Comes perfectly parted down the middle. You can share. <laughs> Purgatory pudding. <laughs> it doesn't stay with you long. <laughs> there is the last sacrament Sunday. It is to die for. <laughs> It is too much. Absolutely wonderful. I love it. And then also at the limbo window, you can get none on a bun and cross fry. <laughs> but the guy on the go, you know, like when you get to the little window, you say, forgive me, Father, for I am hungry. <laughs> it's been two months since I ate here last. You know, he kind of forgets you. You have the fish and loaves extra. That's real good. You get one of each, but it just seems to go on forever. <laughs> uh, really good stuff. Y'all should go there sometime. Originally, the, and then there was like cafe was going to be called the inn, but you could never get in. You'd always have to eat in a barn in the back. It was really, it was so disappointing. It was so disappointing. And you don't get a you don't get a bill or anything like that. You get this stone tablet that you can never make out. You know, it's just awful. It's just horrible. Dear God, dear God, dear God. I'm so glad we survived that one. God's got to have a sense of humor. Face it, people. Look around you. <laughs> He's got to. He could have made this world and gone, I'm going to be serious about this. No way. Yeah, right. No way. Yeah, right. <laughs>